right, hello, wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. And the folks from Vengay stopped by to see me. And, you know, Kirk Vengay, uh, the son of Nils Vengay, taking on the carrying on the family tradition, uh, becoming a winemaker. And these guys have got some estate vines that they also purchased most of the fruit for this Vengay label. The Scout's Honor wine has become very popular. And, uh, well, it's Zinfandel. I mean, pretty good for a wine with Zinfandel in it. I mean, you know, my favorite Zinfandels are blends usually, but uh, a little sweet. Uh, but, you know, these guys make some serious wines here. Let me tell you, the Sauvignon Blanc from Juliana's Vineyard, aged in French oak, uh, beautiful version of uh, Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc, this 2014, very fresh juice here, really nice bouquet of ripe melon and fig fruit on the nose, hints of white flowers and gravelly mineral notes coming out on the second day, the sign of great wines, and they're better on the next day. This Sauvignon Blanc definitely improved in the glass. Good amount of juicy fruit here on the tongue with wonderful freshness at the end, that nice minerality leaving the tongue, salivating for food and even better on the second day. Excellent juice at $42. All right, the Chardonnay from Maldonada Vineyard, uh, an Apple Carnero side, and it's all Dijon clones, 50% mallow, 25% new oak. So the, a lot of people have dialed down the oak. They give you a little bit of that oak spice, which I like. I think Chardonnay can handle it. Um, this wine's got a lot of lovely tropical tree fruit, lemon drop candy, um, candied apple, hints of butter toast, and they'll make 5,000 cases total production. So none of these wines they make in huge quantity here. And uh, this wine's got a lot of juicy fruit, but it's got some good acidity and just the right touch of toasty oak. Very nicely balanced juice here. And uh, this wine is uh, $46.50 a bottle. All right, the Cabernet Sauvignon Silencio. I'm sorry, what's that? Bless you? No, Silencio is the name of the wine. It's French for silence or I don't know. Anyways, uh, kind of silly name, but uh, we don't really care about the name. It's what's in the bottle that's important. And uh, this is a blend of fruit from all over Napa, Rutherford, Coombsville, Pope Valley. They'll make about 1,200 cases of this, so one of their larger production wines. And they do a Cabernet from Bone Ash Vineyard, which is uh, the 12 acres in front of the winery, which got like 98 points from Parker, all dry farmed. And hey, man, if you're in Napa Valley and you're a second generation winemaker, your dad made the very first 100 point wine ever in Napa from Robert Parker, the 85 Roth Reserve. You better make some pretty good damn Cabernet, and this is their best wine, man. Very big and intense bouquet of currants, cassis, a nice amount of sweet tobacco, cigar box spice, espresso, dark cocoa, really good complexity, even more complex on the second day. This is a big and chewy wine with lots of ripe, succulent fruit. This 2013 vintage, another rock star vintage for Napa Valley, and uh, even though it's well endowed, this wine's got a lovely amount of spice and nice freshness at the end, big but still balanced, most excellent juice at $57.00. Wow, uh, really good stuff. The Scouts Honor, like I said, Zinfandel, Petite Syrah, Charbono and Syrah. So kind of a train wreck in terms of, you know, the varietals in here, but uh, very rich and fruity. It's like 15.5% alcohol. So I can see what people like about this wine. It's got pretty floral notes, some licorice spice. Uh, wine goes into all American oak. And uh, even though it's big and fruity, it does have kind of a sweet, tart quality to the finish so somewhat balanced lovely mixed berry pie fruit a very good little wine at 43.50 if you like that kind of stuff that's what we had with our friends from Vange Vineyards I'm your host Andrew Lampasoni signing off for the wine watch saying remember always drink the good stuff first